Hasselbeck anymore. After finishing fourth on Survivor, the Australian Outback in 2001, Elizabeth Hasselbeck did what many reality TV stars hoped to do but rarely achieve. She successfully transitioned into show business. First, she landed a coveted gig at The View Table from 2003 to 2013. Then she made a power move to the Fox and Friends news program. Despite landing major gigs in television, her days as a talk show host were marred with controversy. Since leaving Fox News in 2015, Hasselbeck has kept a low profile and has yet to return to TV. Here's the real reason you don't hear from her anymore. She's changed since her popular run on Survivor. Hasselbeck kicked off her TV career on a high note. She made a fierce impression on Survivor Season 2, and as host Jeff Probst revealed during an interview with Wolf Post, not only was she a fan favorite, but every guy on the crew fell in love with her. Every guy. We watched this young girl mature into this fighting phenomenon, and everybody wanted to date her. They thought about marrying Elizabeth. It was all in our fantasies. Probs noted that the woman he remembers from Survivor isn't the same person making news today. Elizabeth's politics have certainly changed. I'm not sure what to make of where she stands, he said. I'm not saying I align with her, but I like that she does not back down. She's compelling to watch. You've got to give her that. Her time on The View was a whirlwind of controversy. Snagging the opportunity to transition from reality TV to one of daytime's biggest talk shows is nothing to scoff at, but Hasselbeck's accomplishment was shrouded in controversy. During her time on The View, she regularly butted heads with co-host Rosie O'Donnell, and more than once, those differences of opinion triggered shouting matches. The most explosive moment went down on May 23, 2007 when the two went head-to-head -head over the war in Iraq. The verbal battle made jaws drop, and after some ten minutes of debate, co-hosts Sherry Shepard and Joy Behar walked off the set. O'Donnell quit The View soon after that fight. Hasselbeck jumped to Fox and Friends in 2013. She holds professional grudges. Hasselbeck clearly isn't interested in letting bygones be bygones. When it was announced in 2014 that O'Donnell would be returning to the round table, Hasselbeck couldn't hold her tongue. She called into Fox and Friends while on vacation just to declare what could ruin a vacation more than to hear news like this. Here comes to the view the very woman who spit in the face of our military, spit in the face of her own network and really in the face of a person who stood by her and had civilized debates for the time that she was there. Hasselbeck also took to Instagram to defend her O'Donnell commentary. When asked about Barbara Walters retiring, I provided my analysis. When asked about Sherry Shepard and Jenny McCarthy announcing their departure, I provided my analysis. When asked about Rosie coming back, I provided my analysis. Her feud with O'Donnell defined her career. When The View celebrated its 20th birthday with a special titled The View. 20 years in the making, it was the infamous Hasselbeck O'Donnell feud that took centre stage. Even after so many years, it seems no one could forget O'Donnell declaring, Every time I defend my opinions, it's poor little Elizabeth that I'm picking on, and Hasselbeck firing back, Do not call me a coward. I sit there every single day and open my heart to tell people exactly what I believe. Reminiscing about the epic showdown, former executive producer Bill Getty dubbed it a horrible day to be in the View studios. Her coverage of the news often became the news. While covering trending news topics on The View and Fox and Friends, Hasselbeck often became the news thanks to her consistently controversial statements. For example, while reporting on Sandra Bland, a 28-year-old Texas woman who was pulled over by police for not using her turn signal, taken into custody after refusing to put out her cigarette, and then found dead in her jail cell. Three days later, Hasselbeck weighed in with this.
the right times. I'm sure someone has in the history of this land used a cigarette against a police officer. Many thought Hasselbeck was suggesting Bland was to blame for the outcome of her interaction with police, but Hasselbeck defended herself on Twitter. I never suggested Sandra Bland could have used a cigarette as a weapon. I asked whether it was wise to ask her to put it out. Sharp's details. Acrimonious scenarios like this were common throughout Hasselbeck's TV news career. From her coverage of the Black Lives Matter movement to her tone while interviewing former President Barack Obama to her position on the sexual harassment allegations against former Fox News CEO Roger Ailes, she had a knack for making waves and putting herself in the spotlight. Whether you loved her or loathed her, perhaps audiences and or Hasselbeck herself died of the constant finger pointing. She had a health scare. Hasselbeck briefly disappeared from her hosting gig at Fox and Friends in 2014. She later revealed it was due to a major health scare. I had a tumor in my abdomen, she told viewers. Doctor said, you've got to get it out by the end of the month. We don't like how it looks. I was facing something that potentially could have gone either way. Preparing for the worst, Hasselbeck said she found strength in others. Many women and people that I know have stared down the barrel of that cancer gun and done remarkable things courageously to fight it, so I knew if I got that kind of news I would be in their wings and, by their example, able to fight it. After a suspense-filled week, the TV personality discovered that, thankfully, I had the blessing of it not being cancer. Though she reported a clean bill of health, it's likely that her experience prompted her to reevaluate her priorities. She tearfully bid farewell to Fox. After joining Fox and Friends in 2013, Hasselbeck bid a tearful goodbye on Deke. 22, 2015 Unlike her farewell from The View, these tears were bittersweet. Following a touching video montage, she thanked everyone on her team, singling out Ailes for giving her the opportunity to join you all in this family and for an outstanding amount of understanding and guidance when I made this decision to go home. Her sign-off marked the end of her TV career, at least for now. She's focusing on her family. Hasselbeck revealed that she was hitting the brakes on her TV career to take on a new position as Bo, chief breakfast officer. I am entering into a season where I want to start my day with my children first, she said, referencing her three kids, Taylor, Grace, and Isaiah. I'm in a season where the kids need the best of me, not the rest of me. She added, mornings at home, right now, in our lives, are better with mommy. This is a really, really hard decision, but I know it's the right one. She's taking on smaller gigs. Rather than tackling another daily talk show, Hasselbeck has been embracing one-off roles, like hosting the K-Love Fan Awards organized by Christian radio station K-Love. When the spirit moves you, it's not like you can say no, she told Brie Tegast in 2015. However, God wants to use me for his glory. I have surrendered that to him and his plan. I am thankful to be here with my family and let the kids see a big party for God and meet all my favorite artists. She launched a gluten-free nutrition brand. She may be spending more time at home with her family, but that hasn't kept Hasselbeck from finding innovative ways to keep working, like promoting her own line of healthy, gluten-free snacks and supplements, called Naji. According to the brand's site, this has been a total passion project for Elizabeth, from being involved with the original logo and packaging design, to product formulations. The site says she used her family and friends as a focus group to test out her bars and protein powders.